No, Henry Cavill is not playing Wolverine in Captain Marvel 2. However, the future of Henry Cavill in superhero movies is pretty interesting. Might he show up in the MCU in a different role? Could he return to the Superman role? Oh, the possibilities. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's Josh. Welcome back to the channel. Do me a favor and smash that like button. And let's talk some Henry Cavill in superhero movies. Oh, and real quick, I want to say, superhero fans, you are definitely going to want to check out the morning stream at 10 a.m. this coming Monday. That would be March 3rd over on our live streaming channel, The Den of Nerds Live. Huge announcement coming. You're going to love it. Be there. There is zero truth. Let me say that again. Zero truth to the rumors that Henry Cavill is going to be Wolverine in Captain Marvel 2. Two. Every day, more lies. When it comes to the MCU, it's a wild world of clickbait speculation and rumors out there, but we try to do our best here to figure out what is what. Friend of the channel, Charles Murphy, already debunked this rumor over on the Twitter sphere, and I mean, come on. We all knew this probably wasn't going to happen. I mean, it didn't even come from any Marvel scooper. It came from the quartering that has literally never done a Marvel scoop before and even talked about in that video how much a fan he is of Captain Marvel 2 being greenlit just because he knows Brie Larson clickbait gets him a lot of money on YouTube. Bruh. And I'm not hating the player or the game. I'm just here to tell you that most Quack. don't know shit about what's actually going on with Marvel movies. In fact, the last information we had about Henry Cavill doing superhero movies all had to do with his fallout with Warner Brothers about the Superman character. And this was all happening before the Shazam movie even came out. You will remember that there were reports that Warner Brothers wanted to use Henry Cavill as their Nick Fury from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He was going to show up in post-credit scenes, connect a bunch of movies together, and then eventually have it pay off in a big event-type film. Well, the reports back then was that Henry Cavill was not down with that. He didn't want to use up appearances on his contract to do cameos, and he, in fact, wanted more money to continue to play the Superman character. Now, a lot of that is sort of speculation, rumors, and reports. Nothing official came out, but there was a lot of weird stuff. You'll remember that weird Instagram video that Henry Cavill did with the Superman figure. You'll remember that his agent came out and said, hey, the cape is still in his closet. He's still open to playing Superman. But the reports behind the scene and the rumblings were that Henry Cavill thought his stock in Hollywood was rising and he wanted to be paid fairly and correctly for actual Superman appearances. He didn't want to do these cameos things he wanted to actually do man of steel 2 or another superman movie then of course they do the shazam movie and they do a superman cameo but without henry cavill with a body double but they use the suit from the henry cavill superman in batman v superman justice league and of course man of steel now i actually believe that there's a way better chance of henry cavill returning to the superman role than there is for him to do anything over at marvel studios he was asked about his superman role while doing the press tour for the Netflix show The Witcher. And one of the comments that he made to an outlet called RadioTimes.com was really interesting and telling of this whole situation. It says here on Radio Times, however, Cavill has been clear about one thing. This new time commitment doesn't mean he's giving up on playing iconic superhero Superman, even following rumors that Warner Brothers are thinking about going in a new direction with the Man of Steel. The interviewer asked whether that meant there was still hope for him to return to the role of Clark Kent and Superman. Cavill then reference the S symbol on the character's outfit, revealing that it does stand for hope, right? I mean, I think it's pretty obvious that Henry Cavill enjoyed playing Superman, and he wants to continue to play Superman, and there is plenty of room for a Henry Cavill Superman in DC somewhere. Warner Brothers is ramping up production on their HBO Max stuff. They have a huge contract with Greg Berlanti, who developed the CW DC shows. He's going to develop content that's DC over on HBO Max, and of course, Warner Brothers signed a huge contract with J.J. Abrams production company Bad Robot and he is rumored to be working on a Justice League Dark project. And besides all that, it looks like Warner Brothers is going to continue to make DCEU films. There's another Aquaman on the way. The sequel to Wonder Woman is coming out. And so even though Ben Affleck is gone as Batman, who knows? Maybe they will find a way to make the Robert Pattinson Batman work with the rest of these Justice League characters and continue to tell the story within the universe of those characters. There are possibly still contracts in play, which I think is why Cavill didn't want to do those cameo appearances, because they would be a part of his own 
already signed contracts. I think that he still has a film on his contract and he would like to come back and play Superman. Remember, his agent said the cape is still in his closet and even when doing interviews about The Witcher, Cavill was talking about how he's open to coming back to the role. So that's a big part of the reason that I think he would much rather do that than do anything in the MCU. And I don't think Marvel's gonna touch him as long as there are some contracts with him to be Superman over at DC. It would take a complete falling out with Cavill and Warner Brothers for him to even be an option for Marvel Studios, in my opinion. Cavill would also want big time money and he would like to be in charge of his own franchise. I just assume that is the way it is. If you look at the different patterns that he's been doing as an actor and some of the rumblings in Hollywood, it looks like this dude thinks he's worth big time money and that he should be in charge or leading a franchise. And that doesn't exactly jive with what is going on over at the MCU. Even though they are bringing in high caliber actors such as Mahershala Ali, there are a lot of no name actors, or I shouldn't say no name, but lower on the totem pole actors that are being cast in the MCU. Look at what they're doing with the Alison Brie She-Hulk casting. A lot of people think it's going to be Alison Brie. I think they put out that casting call as an Alison Brie type because they don't want to pay Alison Brie type money. The MCU is expanding and there's so much content coming out. I think Marvel is trying to be smart and go after lesser known names so they can sign multi-picture deals or multi-appearance deals at a lower dollar value. And yeah, the MCU has big franchises, but I mean, look at Captain Marvel 2 and Black Panther 2. These movies took years for their sequels to come out, even though they're billion dollar films. We are just at a place in the MCU where Marvel and the MCU is bigger than any actor that would ever sign up for them. And that's just kind of the way it is. So I don't know if that jives with Henry Cavill's style. I don't think that this is something he would want to be a part of. However, and we're clearly in speculative territory, now, uh, I do believe that Kevin Feige would be interested in having Henry Cavill in the MCU. And though the Wolverine casting would be absolutely perfect from what we know of what Henry Cavill is looking for, I don't think that's the way Kevin Feige would go. I think Kevin Feige would literally cast him as a Superman-like character for Marvel. And whether this would be the Sentry, Hyperion, Gladiator, Quasar, or Superior, Either one of those characters or any of those characters would be a pseudo Superman over in the MCU. And that to me is because we all know Kevin Feige is a low key gangster. He did all sorts of stuff that are sort of secretive shots across the bow at DC, like doing Marvel's Civil War the same year that Batman v Superman is supposed to be happening. He's doing a Jack Kirby property in Eternals before DC can even get to the new gods. I mean, he does these things, these subtle shots across the bow and taking the DCEU Superman and making him a Superman-like character in the MCU would be phenomenal. I also think it would just be brilliant, man. Cavill has a perfect physicality for those type of roles. I love his charisma. I personally would love him as like the Sentry or Hyperion. I just think he would be so perfect in that role. It would be another thing for Marvel fans to cheer and sort of hold over the DC fans. Sorry, DC fans. It's just, it's, it's just is what it is. I mean, we just saw him absolutely crush it as Geralt in the Witcher series. He's got incredible acting talents. Like he embodied that character, which seemed wildly different than anything he had done before. So at this point, I have more confidence in him than ever to be able to portray this kind of a role. Would love to see him as somebody Superman-esque in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But that's it, guys. Just wanted to talk about Henry Cavill in a superhero role since all these crazy Wolverine rumors are going on. Again, I mean, could it end up being a, a crazy scenario in which he does actually get cast as Wolverine? I'm not saying that's completely impossible, but what I am saying is the claims that there is an actual report out there that he is going to be doing that, those are completely false. This is just made up. So it's not real at all. However, thought it was a cool time to speculate about Cavill possibly coming to the MCU or more likely him returning to the Superman role. So I want to know what you think, comic book fans. What do you think? Cavill going to be playing Superman again in DC movies? movies if he finally cuts ties completely with warner brothers do you think he could come to the mcu or do you agree that it's sort of a weird fit with cavill in the mcu at least in its current iteration and what they're currently trying to do whatever your thoughts are about this let me know in the comment section below now let's shout out michael daniels yes indeed natasha romanoff was the mother of james rogers steve rogers kids 
in the comics. So shout out to you, Michael. And now let's ask another nerd card question before we get out of here. I want to know what is the real name of the Sentry in Marvel Comics? Yeah, what's the actual name or the non-superhero name of the Sentry in Marvel Comics? Answer that question in the comment section below. As I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching this video. The Den of Nerds is independent media. If you want to support us, you can do something as simple as liking or sharing this video. If you want to financially support us, you can join the list of names you see below and become a supporter of us on Patreon. We also do live streams all week, Monday through Friday, over on our live streaming channel. Support independent media. Support the Den of Nerds.